So let me know if you've encountered these two problems after you've actually shot. Number one is oily skin and number two, wrinkled clothes. And you know how difficult it is to remove all those in post-production. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. And yes, those things should actually be resolved even before you take the shot. That's why makeup is important or even maybe just so those oil control films. But there are some situations in which you might actually have to deal with it in post-production and also with articles of clothing. It could be properly pressed before you actually shoot, but in the course of the shoot, it could get wrinkled. And that's why I love these two plugins or these two options for this particular plugin for Photoshop, Retouch for me. They came out with two new features, which is the mattifier and the fabric, which actually tackles both those issues. So let me show you how easy it is to use. So I have here the image of my wife, Coco. It was actually one of those shoots that we did. And yes, it, she did put makeup, but for some reason, I still felt that there was a little bit of oil in her skin. And that's something that for me personally is just so difficult to remove in post-production. But Retouch for me just made it so much easier. So this is how I do it. I would first create a new layer by just pressing Command-J or Control-J on your PC, which will now create a new layer. Now, the purpose of creating a new layer is so that I can tweak it afterwards. It's non-destructive because the moment that I apply my filter, you go to the filter panel, Retouch for me, and go to Mattifier, it will run and it will technically just remove all those hot spots on your subject's face. Now I'll click apply. Now here's the thing, whenever you're removing highlights on your subject's face, we still have to be very careful because highlights and shadows are the ones that actually create that three-dimensional look. So I did want to mattify my, my wife's face in this particular layout. However, I did not want to remove it completely. And that's the reason why I would always do all those adjustments in another layer because I can easily press my option key and press mask, which will then remove all the adjustments that Retouch for me did. But by doing so, I can easily bring it back with a white brush tool and lower down the opacity and basically brush in all the effects that Retouch for me did, like the mattifier. Let me show you first. Okay, I'll put this in white. I'll open this one up. I'll make this one white again so you could see. This is the one that was edited by Retouch for me. And here's the original. You see all the hotspots here. One, two, here. Let me show you. Hotspot here, hotspot here, hotspot here, and oily parts right here. Now, with Retouch for me, you notice it subdued all those oily parts. However, I feel that I lacked a little bit of the depth because of the highlights that were all removed. So what I'll do is I'll press X to bring black, uh, to put my black as my foreground color, then press Command Delete, which will then make this all black. Therefore, I am masking all the edits that Retouch for me did. And I can just take my brush tool, put my opacity really low, maybe about 30%, and start brushing in what Retouch for me actually did. So now I can manually mattify all the parts that I want to mattify and still control how much I want to bring or how much I want to mattify so that I can still maintain a bit of the highlights in order for me to still have that nice three-dimensional look. Now, as you can see here, just very, very subtle removal, but the one on the nose, I want to remove some more. So I will bring, down my, I bring up my opacity to a higher level and then just completely remove it. So that's Retouch for me, Mattifier. It's perfect to remove all those oily skins within Photoshop as a non-destructive layer so that you have full control of how you want the software to work and what you want to actually be affected. Now, the second one is the one that I am truly excited about and it's called Fabric because that's something that I am so, well, OC about because I don't want all those wrinkly clothes, but it's so difficult to remove it. And number two, you really need a stylist that's focused just on the clothes just to be able to make it as crisp as possible. But sometimes we don't really have that option and we would have to do it in post and look at how easy it is. 
Here we have another image of my wife Coco and you could see how wrinkled her blouse is. But again, command J or control J to create a new layer. Then I will go on filter, retouch for me and I'll do fabric. And look at the magic of what this particular AI plugin can do. Just click apply. Look at that. Instant. There. See? But it was a bit too aggressive. You notice that you lost a lot of the texture of the clothes. And that's why, once again, that's the reason why I have it on a non-destructive layer so that I can just mask it out. Well, this time maybe I will actually show you everything that Retouch For Me did and I will slowly mask away the parts that I don't want to be affected. Like for example, here and here because I want those creases because, uh, well, it's not even creases. It's just a natural folds of the fabric just to create a bit of shape but look at this part here look at this one right there i can actually remove that i think i want to keep it as is I, i'll keep it the way retouch for me did it and this is the original this is the edited one for me i think we could bring this back here this one so if i want to bring it back i am brushing it with um the black brush and if I want to remove it, I will paint it with the white brush by just pressing X to bring that one to my foreground color. And look, I can remove minute areas and clean up the fabric and just have full control of whatever it is that retouch for me did. Look at that. So here, again, I can see it. This one was a bit too aggressive. So I'll put the black brush and bring this one back. And that's the beauty of non-destructive layers. So here, bring this one back too. There. Maybe bring some contrast back in this area too. There. Now, if I want to, let's say, be a bit more aggressive, well, I'll, I think I want to bring this area back here too. But there's some minor wrinkles here that I still see. What I can do is just do another command J layer and merge this one. So this one is the edited version. And from here, I will actually create another um, layered version of this one and do the same retouch for me fabric option. So now it's going to be more aggressive and really remove all the wrinkles. But again, since it is masked, I can just easily remove all the effects that were done and do specific areas only by doing the white brush tool right here and right there. Make it at about 100% opacity so that every brush stroke that I do will have so much effect. And there, you could see the original image right there. This is the original unretouched image. And this one is the one that's retouched. Look at how simple it was to actually remove all those fabric, all those wrinkles in the fabric. And that's Retouch for me, Mattifier and Fabric, amazing AI-based plugins within Photoshop, which is very important for me because it allows me to actually put it in layers and remove some of the parts or adjust it the way I see fit. And the best thing about it, Retouch for me is on sale right now from October 26th to October 31. You can get 30% off and it's a one-time payment. The link I will put in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or how I shot the images that I just demoed today, just check out the rest of the videos in my channel. And if you want to see some of my images, you could always find me in my social media channels in TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram, all at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.